In this video, I want to answer the question, what is robotic process automation? And also, what is intelligent automation? Let's start with the answer to the question, what is robotic process automation, or RPA? And I'm going to quote the definition that I give in my ebook, Decode the Jargon of Artificial Intelligence, that is part of my Artificial Intelligence Briefing Kit. Robotic process automation is software systems that mimic the way humans follow business processes and therefore automate those processes. They're faster and more consistent than human operators at doing repetitive, rule-based tasks. They can be attended RPA, which is triggered by humans, unattended RPA, which is initiated according to program rules, or hybrid RPA, which is a combination of the two. RPA systems work via software scripts, sometimes known as software robots or just bots. These follow rule-based tasks such as extracting data, filling in forms, moving files or transferring information. They can deploy a combination of automation, machine learning, computer vision and natural language processing. To build an RPA automation, users create bots by observing human actions and interactions, stringing them together to create processes and workflows, and then setting the triggers that will enable them to do the work. Once they get started, they can work around the clock, faster than humans ever can, and with 100% reliability and precision. RPA bots can become your personal digital assistant, or indeed, your entire digital workforce. So, how does RPA work? Let's start with an Application Programming Interface, or API. This is nothing more than a way of connecting two pieces of software. RPA uses APIs to link tools such as enterprise applications and productivity software. A user interface, or UI, allows users to specify the connections they want and describe the processes that the RPA needs to follow. RPA uses scripts, simple programs or sets of rules, which set out what the RPA system needs to do following the steps that humans take. Typically, they start with a trigger and then chain together a number of tasks, often long sequences of repetitive tasks. RPA software can perform business process tasks quickly and reliably. They can do so at high volumes, freeing up numerous people to do more complex tasks which cannot yet be automated. Typically, RPA tools have three core capabilities. Firstly, the ability to build automation scripts with limited or no formal software programming. Often, this is called no-code programming. Second, integration with a wide variety of enterprise applications and productivity tools. And thirdly, the ability to administer the RPA software, to monitor outputs, adjust configurations, and ensure data security. So, what about intelligent automation? Modern RPA tools need to move beyond simple task automation towards intelligent automation, or IA. This expands RPA functionality to include artificial intelligence tools like machine learning, natural language processing, and computer vision. These allow intelligent automation to go way beyond the simple rule-based processing of RPA. You can think of RPA as doing what it's told, whilst intelligent automation is able to learn and to mimic aspects of human decision-making. 
So with intelligent automation, rather than programming a sequence of steps, we train the intelligent automation system on a suitable set of examples. The intelligent automation software then finds its own algorithms that allow it to perform tasks more efficiently than human beings and to adapt to changing circumstances. So what are the benefits of robotic process automation and intelligent automation? Quite simply, RPA and IA enable businesses to make massive efficiency savings. As a result, they are driving massive digital transformation efforts in many businesses, which are allowing those businesses to make massive ROI gains from their investment in their staff. The benefits include seven particular things. First is cost savings. RPA reduces the workload on teams, which allows for reduced labor costs and also allows organizations to reallocate people to more complex, more demanding and higher value activities. Number two, this leads to increased productivity, accuracy and reliability. Quite simply, RPA systems can work 24 seven without making mistakes. It just goes on and on and on. As long as you program it right, you will get the right results. So you'll see increased accuracy and elimination of human error, assured compliance with procedures and standards, automatic creation of a full audit trail and strengthened operational security. And number three, it's scalable. RPA can process high volumes and you can scale it simply by adding more processor capacity. All of this leads to number four, better customer experience and so higher customer satisfaction. Automated processes are performed the same way every time, leading to high levels of predictability and therefore confidence for your customers. And because bots can work around the clock, your customers don't have to wait as long either. But it's not just customers. At number five is improved staff morale. RPA relieves your staff of repetitive, tedious, high volume work, which has no intrinsic satisfaction value. Instead, it allows them to focus on more interesting and more rewarding tasks. But RPA doesn't change everything. At number six is the benefit that existing systems remain in place. RPA causes minimum disruption to your organization because the bots simply mimic existing established processes that you know work well. And at number seven is the final benefit that you don't need coding skills. Because most RPA applications are designed to allow you to build bots with no or minimal coding, which means you don't need a team of software developers to develop your RPA applications. So what is RPA used for? RPA can be used across most business functions to automate repetitive tasks. Scripts can be developed and executed to connect front and back end processes and to organize and process complex data. Examples of RPA use cases include customer research and pre-qualification, account creation and account handling, customer relationship management or CRM, marketing communications, feedback gathering and issue reporting, chatbots to enhance customer support and relieve staff of routine inquiries, evaluating and processing completed forms and identifying errors in form completion, pulling data from online sources, allocating it to database fields and producing reports from that data, compliance monitoring and risk scoring based on staff logs and actions taken, notification of non-compliance or missing actions or records, order processing, invoicing, account management and revenue analysis, and risk evaluation and fraud detection. With all these examples of use cases, 
how can we use RPA in project management? A lot of these examples track through directly into the project management world. Pure RPA can find uses in data entry, extracting data, filling in forms, producing reports, creating and moving files, and in risk analysis. If we add in artificial intelligence and machine learning to create intelligent automation, we can go even further. Examples include summarizing and evaluating individual reports, compiling multiple reports into a single summary, generating templates and filling them in, suggesting narrative for business cases and project definition documents, interpreting emails and Slack correspondence to create action lists, or allocating work assignments for meeting notes. In my assessment, we are going to see more and more of RPA and indeed intelligent automation in the project management world. The number of potential uses seems to me to be limitless, perhaps only limited by our imagination as to how we can apply this fantastic technology. Yes, it may mean that some low-level project management jobs will cease to exist, but it also means that for you and me as project managers, we will have to do less of the boring, tedious stuff and be able to focus more on the important, complex, interpersonal and political dimensions of our project. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management and artificial intelligence content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.